Welcome to 16th of December Scholarly Blessing. Supreme God Father is going to talk about Trikal Darshi, on also known as three aspects of time. It is very important to do any karma knowing the three aspects of time. Supreme Father also says, and the world also says, whatsoever you do, think about the past and the future, and then take your actions. Similarly over here, Godfather says, I have told you the complete secret of your past births, what you have been doing for the past life, and in your past life since the time you have come down from the Supreme Abode, or Param Dham, or Nirvan Dham, or Alam Yarva, or Brahma Lok. Since the time we souls or sparks have come down on earth, we have been engaged in doing different karmas in different lives with different souls, different parents, different friends, different relatives, and only Godfather can reveal to us how were we consciously or what was the conscious level during those different births, how pure we were. Now God says think about your past and think about the future because he's revealed what's going to happen in the future because we're supposed to think about the future and then take an action. And that's what God says. Do you have the power to take that action? And how do you take that power? It's through Raj Yoga Meditation. Or Raj Yoga means become the king of your mind and intellect and tell your mind and intellect to be connected to the Supreme Creator. It's about actually telling your mind and intellect. We have been, whatsoever your physical age is, not talking to our mind. We are waiting for other people to tell us what to do. We are waiting for other people to respect us. We are waiting for other people to encourage us and uh, give us affirmations and praise us. But do we talk to ourselves in the same manner the way we expect others to talk to us? That's the first question. Do you talk to yourself? That means, are you your own best counsellor? If not, then it is very difficult to even tell your mind to be firm, stern and focused on the Supreme Creator. That is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Now let's go ahead with what God has to say in today's blessing. Godfather says, May you attain success by experiencing the Trikal Darshi stage with the divine intellect. Imagine the intellect needs to be divine. Or the intellect can be thinking in pure thoughts. Intellect can be focused or getting diverted towards wasteful thoughts, thinking ill about others, finding faults in others, blaming others, complaining about others, and that's not a divine intellect. And even thinking ill about the self. I'm not good enough. I'm good for nothing. Why did God send me on this earth? I don't know what is my purpose. And being lost. So God says the special gift of Brahman life is a divine intellect. Now that divine intellect can be found or can be attained when you have the three aspects of time knowledge. That means what you were, what you are supposed to do now and what you will become in the future. And who can reveal all the secret? That's the only Supreme Creator. With this divine intellect, <clears throat> you can clearly know the father, that means the creator. Now here the father is not a physical father. It's about the father of divinity, father of knowledge, father of power, father of virtues. <clears throat> you can clearly know the father, yourself and the three aspects of time. By having remembrance, you can imbibe all the powers in your divine intellect. That means, you know, you can remember God and receive his light of power receive his good wishes good pure divine wishes for yourself and that itself becomes power a divine intellect enables you to experience the trikal darshi stage trikal darshi stage when you have a divine intellect very pure and refined intellect without any muck inside it muck means impure thoughts waste thoughts then you can see through things and you can see through people that's like having a pure sixth sense. So, sixth sense can only be activated when we are not engaged with the five senses. That means the eyes are interested in seeing good things, the tongue is interested in tasting good things, and the ears are very much interested in listening to good things about the self and listening to ill things about others. When you engage in all those things, the sixth sense can never be awakened. Scott says, All three aspects of time are clear in front of such a soul. It is said, whatever you think or speak, it is mentioned in the world also, whatever you think or speak, consider its past and future 
and then do it. In Hindi, it's very simply said, आगे पीछे देख करके बोलो और सोचो By performing actions, knowing their consequences, you will definitely attain success. By performing actions, knowing the consequences, first knowing the consequences, you will definitely attain success. That means you're supposed to understand how should I relate to this person, how should I behave around this person, not in a manipulative way, but in a godly manner so that things can be done or the work of God can be taken ahead or your own housework can be taken ahead or your job can be Uh, work can be taken or your business can be taken ahead and that all that divine divine knowledge can be attained because you need to know how to behave around a person whether it's in your job whether it's in your business or that's in your family and all that divine knowledge all that complete sixth sense can be attained only through meditation and divinity the more purity within us the more clearer the mind is to see things through How do you do that? Do join us in Brahma Kumaris. Go ahead and take seven days session. It's seven days. Doesn't mean seven days. It means one hour a day. It's just seven hours. Within seven hours, you can understand everything. And then go ahead on this journey with the Somshanti.